Russian troops guzzle dirty puddle water amidst supply shortages. Russian invaders, once complaining of a lack of arms and ammunition, now struggle to obtain even basic necessities like drinking water or essential supplies. From their command, Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butasov shared a video on Telegram revealing their plight. The footage depicts Russian soldiers parched near the settlement of Terny on the Kharkiv front, resorting to drinking water directly from puddles without any means of filtration. Water degustation. Cheers! said a Russian soldier before drinking the murky water. I'll get more of it. Let the commander drink it. Gulp it up. There's no supply. Commanders treat soldiers as expendable, leaving them with no option but to settle for water from dirty puddles and condensate. Butasov commented on the video. Their comrades in arms who decided to surrender, meanwhile, received water, food and relatively comfortable conditions in Ukrainian detention centers. It should be noted that Russia is struggling to provide ammunition and weapons for its war in Ukraine. It comes as concerns over the provision of Western weapons to Ukraine are mounting. As the war enters its third year, the supply of ammunition, arms and manpower looks set to be a critical factor. Sanctions are hitting the Russian military industrial complex hard, causing severe delays and increasing costs. An inability to access Western components is severely undermining Russia's production of new systems and repairs of old systems with long-term consequences for the quality of weapons produced. Russia is requisitioning equipment due to be delivered by its defense industry to other countries. This includes India, which has long been reliant on Russian weaponry for its armed forces and whose air force a year ago said it was not receiving what it expected. Russia is currently producing more ammunition than Ukraine is receiving. However, Russia may be close to its limits of supply while there remains the possibility that Ukraine could still get more from its allies. The German government has supplied Ukraine with another batch of military aid, which includes air defense means, ammunition and armored vehicles. Lately Germany has supplied Ukraine with 10 martyr infantry combat vehicles with ammunition and spare parts, ammunition for Leopard 2 tanks and 7,500 rounds of 155mm ammunition. The armed forces of Ukraine also received a Skynex anti-aircraft rocket system with ammunition, almost 30,000 projectiles for Jeopard self-propelled anti-aircraft systems, and unspecified quantity of missiles for the Iris TSLM air defense system and a TRML-4D aerial surveillance radar station, the list also includes a Beaver bridge-laying tank, a DSHS armored engineering vehicle, nine minesweepers, self-protection systems for the AMPS helicopters, 60 outboard motors, 600 LED lamps and six tows for the transportation of M1070 tanks. Germany also provided 18,000 rounds of 40mm ammunition, 3,000 portable anti-tank manual grenade launchers RGW-90, 120mm mortar ammunition, almost 2,000 camouflage nets, 2,000 raincoats and 100,000 first aid kits for the troops. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, admitted that the situation on the front line has worsened, that Russia is actively attacking along the entire front and has achieved tactical success in some areas. The colonel general wrote about this in a telegram. The situation at the front has worsened. The enemy, trying to seize the strategic initiative and break through the front line, created a significant advantage in forces and means, and concentrated his main efforts in several directions. Active attacks are carried out along the entire front line, and there are tactical successes in some directions, he stressed, the commander-in-chief added that individual positions change from hand to hand several times during the day, which leads to unambiguous understanding of the situation. At the same time, he noted that they have observed an increase in the number and regrouping of Russian soldiers in the direction of Kharkiv, our troops are reinforced with artillery and tank units in the most dangerous directions. Much of the fighting has been taking place around Chesivyar, a Kiev-controlled stronghold which Russia has been trying to reach after seizing Avdiivka and new defensive lines had been taken up further to the west in some areas, with Sersky conceding the loss of territory to the advancing Russians. IT should be recalled that earlier, the spokesman of the Pentagon, Patrick Ryder, announced that the United States has started supplying Kiev with the main weapons needed by Ukraine.